Hi, this is Steve. Welcome back to Scale Model Kit Review. In this video, I continue to build the Eagle Moss Aston Martin DB5. I am on stage 68. Now in 68, we assemble the ejection seat or the passenger seat itself. Not the ejection mechanism because we already did that, but the seat. So let's get started. Welcome back. Let's look at the build instructions for stage 68. Now for stage 68 we receive the rest of the parts for the passenger seat. So we're actually going to build the entire seat in this stage. Um, it's been a lot of fun so far doing this. So if you haven't done so already, head over to EagleMoss.com and subscribe to this car today. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get the parts out here and we'll get a closer look at what 68 gives us and then we'll start this build. And 68 gives us a very small parts bag with a few smaller parts and this is what we were waiting for to do our chairs. So I'll be right back. So for 68 here's a close-up of those parts and uh, here's the ejection seat hook. It's made of plastic and the passenger seat adjuster along with some uh, screw covers. These are uh, just, uh, they got a adhe adhesive tape on the back side to cover up some of the screw holes. So let's get started. Alright, so looking back at uh, stage 67 instructions, we're going to go ahead and follow that and we're going to install this knob on the, uh, the seat adjuster on the passenger arm and uh, you can see it's chrome here, so I apologize for any glare you may get. And that's simply just going to go down in the slot there. doesn't really matter how it is. And we're going to put an O-type screw into this. So the tricky part is going to be to hold it still while the screw goes in. because it's going to want to turn. And it's tight. Looks good. And that screw was recessed so it doesn't stick out. So that looks good. And it's going to get installed on the seat back. And you can see there's a large hole and a smaller hole. It just lines up with that. And we're going to put another screw in on the back side here. That's going to be a Q screw. The Q screw is a little larger with a flange on it. And that's on there tight. That looks good there. Next we'll install this on the seat back and it simply slides down on, on top like that. And then this inserts on the side.
kind of like a little puzzle here. Okay. Put, the, put another Q screw into it, into the armrest itself. Make sure the hole lines up. And that's on there tight. That's how that looks. Okay. We'll go ahead and put the other armrest on, on the other side, large hole, small hole, lines up with that. And we'll put our remaining Q screw in on this side. And that's tight there. And that's what uh, the instructions show us, all four steps for uh, 67. Now we need to jump to 68 and continue. Now the first assembly instructions for 68 is we put in some O-type screws in the back to hold the seat back panel on. And those are those recessed screws. There's one. And the second one there. There we go, now it's snapped in place. Very good. So that's how that looks there so far. Now I work on the seat bottom. And this is that. Uh, catch assembly for the ejection seat mechanism and it's going to go on just like that okay. we're going to put or I'm going to put Y type screws into this and these are a bigger screw longer There's one. You can see how big that screw is. And do the second one here. And don't over tighten it. You might strip it. So just go to where you get some resistance and that's it. That is good. Perfect. That's how that looks. Okay. And Bring over our seat, our chair itself. This is going to mount down on top of that. Just like that. And it's everything snapped in place. You heard that, right? And we're going to put three Y-type screws in the bottom. I'd like to thank everybody who's been patient with this build because of the pandemic. Um, parts have been slow coming, which is understandable, and I'm more than willing to be patient uh, with Eagle Moss on this. They've been very good. They've had excellent customer service with me. They may take a while to get back to you, but that's uh, pretty much normal. I'm not sure if everybody over there is working full time or, or they're working part time because of the pandemic, but. Um, I'm just happy to get the parts when they when they arrive, and I'm happy to have the customer service that I've been getting. So, just uh, I'd like to thank you all for being patient with them also and building this along with me. 
So that's all three screws that are put in. And the last step is we're going to put covers on those. And those are those items that were backed by tape. So I'm going to use some tweezers. My fingers have a lotion on them. Peel the backing off. There we go. And flip this over. Hopefully get this lined up as best as possible. That looks good there. Same thing with the other one. Perfect. And put this on. And I have an elderly cat and she's very needy, very very whiny, but she's in pretty good health. We had the whole litter for uh, these 16, 17 years, and she's the last one in, from the litter. I had to put two of them down in the last year or so. But uh, cats are very independent. Not this one. She likes her french fries too, oddly enough. Maybe that was the secret of uh, longevity for her. All right, so that's all we do. And that's all we do for stage 68. We completely assemble the passenger seat, which is the ejection seat itself. That was a lot of fun, very simple to do. The U-type screws we're not going to use. We're going to put those away for safety. And uh, of course the leftover screws that I had for this build, they're also going to be put away in my little screw box that I've been collecting all along. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit the bell for all of my video upload notifications. Head over to Eagle Moss and subscribe to this car today. It's fantastic. Thank you again, everybody, for supporting my channel. Happy modeling and take care.